it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to do the You're Not Good Enough book tag. So stay tuned. So this is a tag video that was circulating a lot or about a year ago and well I wasn't doing YouTube at that time and I would like to do this tag now. So the original creator of this is Chammy over at read like wildfire and I will put her link down below and it's just a list of questions and you put names of characters in your little cup and for each question you draw two names and you see which name you would choose to answer the questions so I have them pulled up here on my phone and question number one is, you only have one more spot on your spelling bee. Who would you pick to complete your team? So I pick two. And we have Giles from Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Amy Gum from Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Well, that's an easy one. I would totally go with Giles because he's a brainiac. So that's an easy one. Question number two. Both characters want to kill you. Which one would you kill first so you have a better chance of surviving? So we have Maven from The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard or Willow from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, if we're talking about just sweet little innocent Willow, then I would kill Maven first because he's a little more evil and I would want to get him out of the way first. But if we're talking about Dark Willow, oh my gosh, we would totally need to get rid of her first because, I mean, she could flay you. <laughs> okay, question number three. You're on The Bachelor slash Bachelorette, and you're down to these two characters. Which one are you going to give your rose to? Mare Barrow from The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, or Captain Farley from the Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Hmm, that's a tough one. I think I would probably go with Captain Farley because she, well, she's a bit more grown and mature, I think. So I would probably go with Captain Farley. Plus, she can kick some serious butt. You wouldn't want to be on her bad side. <laughs> okay, question four. You've been chosen for the Hunger Games. Who would most likely volunteer in your place? We have Esther Soler from A Semi-Definitive List of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. Or Stevie Bell from Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Hmm. I would have to go with Stevie Bell because she's much more adventurous. Esther, well, throughout the book she became more adventurous, I guess. But really she was more of a timid kind of scared person and well Stevie didn't really seem to be scared of too much of anything so I would say she would probably volunteer number five you're stranded on an island which character would you sacrifice to engage in cannibalism okay so which one are we going to eat I guess <laughs> so which one of these is more useless I suppose and we'll just use them for food. <laughs> we have Faith from Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Leia from An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Hmm. Well, probably they're both really strong characters and they can both handle a lot. But I'm going to have to go with um, Leia just because Faith has slayer strength, and that could be to our advantage if we have to, you know, kill anything. Like Leia. <laughs> okay, question number six. You're the next DC Marvel superhero with your own TV show, of course. Who is your sidekick? <laughs> hmm, so we have... Will Herondale from Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare or Tessa Gray from Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I think I would rather have Will Herondale as my sidekick, honestly, because, 
Well, I mean, Tessa does have that whole ability to shape shift, but I mean, Will Herondale. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want Will Herondale as their sidekick? So, yeah. <laughs> Number seven. You're a manager of an avocado admiring company. Who would you fire for lack of communication skills? Ooh. Okay, so we have Jonah Smallwood from A Semi-Definitive List of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. Or Artemis from Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Mmm. I would probably say Artemis because, well, both of these characters are actually pretty, um, keep their secrets to themselves and keep quiet about a lot of things. And I know Jonah, he was going through a lot and he didn't really tell anybody what he was going through. And Artemis, she's super secretive and, you know, she wants to win for herself. I think Artemis I would have to fire for lack of communication skills because Jonah has his own way of communicating through doing. Number eight, you've just finished a book in which your favorite character dies. Which character is most likely to comfort you? <laughs> so we have Wade Watts Parzival from Ready Player One by Ernest Cline or Valentine Morgenstern from City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. In this case, I would definitely say Wade Watts would be the one to comfort because, I mean, Valentine's just evil. <laughs> Number nine. Ugh, it's high school. Who would most likely be part of the popular clique? Okay, so we have Kel from A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab or Prince Kai from The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I would have to say Prince Kai because... He's a prince, so he's got the money and all of that, so the popular tend to also be the rich kids, so he would probably be the one. Plus, Kel seems to kind of keep to himself a bit. Number 10, the day has arrived, you're finally a year older. Who would have the nerve to forget your birthday? Jay Swalen, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, or Queen Lavanna, The Lunar Chronicles, Marissa Meyer. Queen Lavana would totally forget my birthday. Jace might act like he forgot, but really, he remembers everything, and he's actually super sweet underneath it all. So he would totally remember. Number 11. You've just found an upcoming booktube star. Who would it most likely be? Oh, gosh. So we have Jim Carstairs from Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, or Xander from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, well, Xander is a bit more outspoken, but Jim is the one more likely to actually read a book, <laughs> so I would have to say Jim. Number 12, sleepover time. Unfortunately, you can only invite one person. Who would you invite? Nova from Renegades by Marissa Meyer or Clary Frey from City of Bones, Cassandra Clare. So that's kind of another easy one because I would totally invite Clary over because she seems like a sweet girl. But Nova, I mean, her power is she gives you nightmares. That's not the person you want for a sleepover. <laughs> Number 13. Bam, you're pregnant. Who is the father slash mother? So we have... Buffy Summers from Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Cal from The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Now, considering Buffy couldn't possibly get me pregnant, <laughs> I would have to go with Cal. Number 14. You've just written a super important text. Who would see it but not reply? So we have Adrian from Renegades by Marissa Meyer or Cress from The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. That's a tough one because I think they would both try to respond, but maybe Cress would be the one to see it but not respond. Like if she's still on the satellite and her mistress is showing up and she can't respond, so she has to like hide it for a little while. 
So I would guess I would say Cress in that case. And the last question, you've just woken up and it's time for breakfast. Your mom's been replaced by who? I'm not sure what's left. Let's see. Oh dear. <laughs> so my mom has been replaced by either Eliza Merck from Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia or Cinder from the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Well, Eliza's nickname in the book is Eggs. And she loves some hard-boiled eggs. And I also like hard-boiled eggs. So I guess she would be the one to replace my mom and make me breakfast. Well, that was a lot of fun. And I would actually like to get this tag going again. So I'm going to tag five people. I'm going to tag Haley over at Haley and Bookland. Rocky from Blonde with a Book. Jenna over at Jenna Reads, G over at Book Roast, and Zoe over at You're a Book Nerd, Zoe. Hopefully, you guys will join me in this as well. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, bye!